Well, it's another, it's another lovely day today. So we're going to continue with some outside DIY. And you, you remember um, I did, or we did, the patio slabs to make sure they were all, all firm. And we used, um, uh, we used that wall and tile adhesive. Well, now we're doing the grouting and my lovely assistant, not sister, um, is probably the expert in this, probably the world expert. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you a technique, because actually if you read the instructions on the box, slightly different to what we've found works better. So uh, well, I'll, come, I'll come straight back, I'm just gonna flip the camera and we'll go to the next bit. This is the stuff we're using, Seeker Fast Fix, all weather self-setting paving jointing compound um, we've elected to go with the buff color um, there, there is the gray color as well isn't there um, one thing to note when you when you get these things is the lid will be like that and Amber's already done this and that little go that thing goes there and that it can be quite tricky if you've got a little bit of arthritis or maybe you're just a bit, little bit feeling a bit weak in the day, so take a screwdriver. That's probably the wrong screwdriver to use, isn't it? Pop it in there, pop it out, and then, you, and then you'll find it's actually very tight on. So you, you need to ratchet the screwdriver, you see, around, and then the lid will pop off. Uh, you can see in the process, actually, um, our scissors broke, so don't use scissors. Um, inside the box, there are two bags. And there's a set of instructions, um, pretty self-explanatory instructions. Just use one box at a time. Do not, uh, sorry, one bag at a time. Do not open two bags. You basically have to use it within an hour of opening uh, because the oxidization um, is, is basically what sets this stuff. But it's pretty cool. It, it says to use a brush, but I'm going to go and show you an alternative technique that seems to be working out much better. My assistant is lovely marigolds on <laughs> um now key thing you know it does say instructions so wet the surfaces not just the cracks wet everything um i'm in the shade at the moment, so it's not too bad a shot but rather than use the brush because you have to compact down and it says use a little pointing trowel problem with the pointing trowel is it takes bloody ages and if you've got deep cracks like we've got in this old patio that hasn't been taken care of then it's um it takes, you know, it's not very efficient. So make sure you wear gloves. Definitely make sure you wear gloves, don't you, Emma? Yes. Otherwise you're gonna, this it's... isn't nice stuff on your hands. It's, yeah. but an old pair of marigolds. Do doesn't have to be yellow. Could be, could be pink. Maybe even, I don't know, sometimes you can get blue. Can you get blue marigolds? You can. Yeah, so you could potentially wear blue ones if, you, if you're a little bit, if you feel like you, you want to sort of show your masculinity. Then probably wearing some blue marigolds as well. So can you just see that? Yeah, nice patting in. And make sure that it really is important to push, push down so it fills, fills the cracks. But hopefully you get an idea. So you don't need to use the brush. Pushing down, see that? Make sure you wear marigolds or something protective of your hand that's waterproof. Keep pushing, then we'll come back to the finished result. What I well, I thought I'd show you, just like, this is what the cracks look like at the moment. They're probably, probably not so easy to see. And as Emma said, these are, these are quite big cracks. So it's taken up a fair amount, isn't it? Yeah. This is one bag, and so these are Emma's open one bag. But not the best opening this time. <laughs> because we had a scissor breakage problem, didn't we? We did. We'll probably maybe use some more robust scissors than hairdressing. <laughs> what those cheap hairdressing scissors. Um, finally get away and it's become rather good at uh, hair cutting since the lockdown. So amazing feature how to how to give a 17 year old son a fade. So that's something we can uh, feature later. For now we're gonna focus on the patio, aren't we Emma? No, I'm not, I'm not putting you on camera again because you've got that low cut top on again. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get, I won't be able it's to get a PG. It's actually just the t-shirt I'm wearing. I know, but I won't be getting a PG. <laughs> okay, did you see that though? See how it's just working. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> That's it. Okay. okay, right, we'll come back a bit later. Bye bye. But I'd add a little bit just to give some advice on what scissors not to use. These are like hairdresser scissors or something rather. Don't use those. Not strong enough. So again, I'm going to go to my trusty Westcott's. These are really nice scissors. See that? They're not expensive. Just buy those scissors. And then when you get to here, thanks Emma, just in the middle of videoing this. Right, so, god damn it. I mean, don't they realize how much effort goes into production? Right, so, right, I'm gonna hold it still, and then you snip it off the end, like that. And we've already got through one bag. But let me show you inside what it looks like. You see that? It's pretty much it looks like sand. But what's gonna happen is as soon as we start using that, uh, mixed with the water and the oxygen, that sets probably within, you definitely need to use it within an hour. Um, and then depending on the weather and the environment, we've found that it sets pretty well between 24 to 36 hours. But you can, you can kind of still use the patio during that time. Okay, let's go and pour some on and start smoothing it down again. All right, this hand. Oh, you haven't opened it quite as wide oh, as I normally would. Okay, but... so that's a good tip. Open it a little bit wider, and then just pour it out over the over the cracks. And then again, we've covered this bit already, but I just thought I'd show you what a pour looks like, just in case you're not sure how much how much you need to pour out. Okay. Cool. 